<laughs> That's a big one. Oh no! Surf's up, dude. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty darn good. Yeah, that's my uh, lobster net there. That is the world's biggest net. It's called a landing net, not a losing, oh, not a losing net. You need any help? How are you? I'm Rob. I'm Sam. Big fan. Hey, Sam. How you doing? Good, good, good. You guys have blue crabs in this area? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we have blue really? crabs. And you look like a trap, like a trap line or something? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah right here. Um, yeah. yeah. Think it'll work? Yeah. Yeah, we'll take this. <laughs> and Austin Crockerton uses a gigantic net. <laughs> That's a big net. <laughs> it's a big net. I, I'd like to see the crab that fits in there. <laughs> <laughs> so Sam says they got crabs. It's 4th of July and uh, that's just the way it is. These crabs on this island are about to be caught. We're gonna find out if those are good for bait. Wait, what? Turtle, turtle, turtle. Just take it. You guys. Spoken like a good one. I will be happy. I've never seen selfie snapping turtles in my life. I want the big one. I want the big huh? one. You take the that guy. Maybe on the grill somewhere. The people like cook them. Heck yeah! You want to get the turtle up here? Get back up. Look at his tail. Why? <laughs> so what now? So imagine this is called a diamond trap. This is gonna go down and hit the bottom just like this. And when the crab comes in, we've got this tied to the, to the ground. When he starts eating, gently you pick it up and you've got him in there. I see a crab right here. <laughs> he grabbed it. I got him. <laughs> Check that out, man. This place is an outdoor wonderland. That's an eel. Where? It just went in the dark shadows. Did you see that? No. That 100% that was an eel, or a fish that looks like an eel. <laughs> we got that thing, huh? That's fun. That's, That's a, a nice one. Big, big, big crab. Hey, Ari's got one over there. Let's get this one. Gently pull it, gently, into the net, into the net. Pull it, pull it, pull it, one more. Yes, that one, we got one! High five! Yes. Good job, Emma! Oh, yeah, Emma! What do you think of that, girl? We have a, uh, like, a major... Is that big one still there? Good job, Emma. You can be the ruler. How did you get three? I'll be the scooper. There's a, there's a crab right here buried in the sand. Ha ha ha! You know which one is a male and which one is a female? Uh, male. Well, female. Easy. They're gonna grab you, hold They're you. They're alive, Emma. Female. Female. Why? She's got a, a big rounded apron, just like that, and a male has a pointed apron, just like that. Is and it okay the... if I tell the other two? <laughs> now we're gonna let this one go. Hey, look right there. Oh, hey. Snap. There's a snapping turtle right there. I Are you it. kidding me? I named Snap? 
That's that's Nat, by the way. So we just dropped the the diamond trap down in the culvert pipe, and the eel came, and the eel was like death rolling so fast. Well, we have a, a GoPro in that trap watching to see how it it, it happened. We have the best footage of the eel eating of all time, if that thing is. Nantucket is an outdoor paradise. You can go fishing and hunting and crabbing and heck, you can go out to dinner. You can go shopping. This is just a cool place to come. We're going into town and they have all kinds of 4th of July festivities. Unfortunately, we have tons of what like, clouds coming this way. It's 4th of July. And you're yeah, ready. He's ready. We had no idea that this was a uh, uh, crowd participation. Fourth of July in Nantucket, and this is something that is special and unique to this place. Their fire trucks spray in the crowd, having a good time. It's Fourth of July. Hey, what's up, man? What's your name? Gabe. Gabe Zinzer. Gabe Zinzer, and what's your name? Cody. Cody. Hey, I'm just here, Fourth of July. We're walking along. We're having a good time. We meet fans. We meet people, and we're having a good time. We wish you were here, because you could hear them in person. Good job. Leave a thumbs up if you love kids out working, having a good time, and being great. You're ready for dinner, Bob? Please make your head. That definitely feels like like a flounder or something the way it's sliding. This is this is something different here for sure. I see. I, oh, it's a flounder! Yes. A oh, I got I got bit right there. Got him. Got him. <laughs> nice. Oh. Look at this. Flounder time. He spotted like that is camouflage. If you're looking at the bottom, he's white. And from the top down, he's brown. Uh, when he is born, both eyes are on opposite sides of the head, like, like, like normal fish. But as he gets older and becomes mature, his eyes migrate over onto the same side, the brown side. So he lays like this and it whoa, comes up, eats, and, he, and then all the current can come right past him. You can see he's got like all different types of, of color markings. And down he goes. And this is what we're using. It's a flasher. It's a, this goes around in the current. This is a white belly from the, from the, uh, the flounder. And uh, we're, we're fishing. Oh yeah. Nice one. Yeah, baby. That was a nice one. He thumped it twice. Second time he got hooked. Sliding just like a flounder. What is that? No, it's not. Oh, it's a shark. Hold on, hold on. What kind of it's flat. <laughs> it's just a little too soon. It's sliding just like it. Oh, it's a shark. That's a dogfish. Is it really? Dogfish. Oh. I'm getting nailed. Catching these fluke or summer flounder or whatever they are, they're flat fish. You have a three-way swivel 
and that way, the, depending on the current, you can add or take away weight. This is Mylar with a flasher, and then I've got some tentacle and some white belly. I don't know if it matters, truthfully. Nice fish, nice fish. Ah, dang, coming! I lost him. Had a good one. Dog, dog, I got nailed. What do we got? What do we got? Oh my gosh. It's a big, oh, it's a stingray. You have to admit, when you saw the color, you got excited. I got very excited. I thought, <laughs> I got the uh, 12 pounder here. Look at that. Oh, he tried to get me. It's all spiny. Yeah. Oh, just like that. We call that the Palm Beach release. That's how you don't get your hands dirty. What you got, boy? I was just drifting along the bottom. And, oh, oh, flounder! Nice flounder. <laughs> That's a big one. Oh, man. You better not lose them. We got a... Oh, no! I, I, I lost them. I'm going to do a recipe tonight that I have been wanting to do all my life. We're going to take the flounder, the summer flounder, and the crabs and do a meal together. But first I want to tell you about the mossy oak, all of my fishing gear, the shirt, shorts, you name it. They're giving away 25% off. All you got to use is promo code DMFD fish, 25% off. They have like, you see me wearing the shirts all the time. These are mossy oak shorts as well. DMFD fish. Come down just like every other fish in the entire world. All in one swoop. The uh, the going way that people clean these fish is down the middle, and so then you have four fillets. I am gonna do this so that you have one fillet. It's just like that. This is uh, the belly meat. You wanna take that off? And this is where it gets a little tricky. You just take your time and you're pulling the fish and push and pushing your knife and pulling the fillet at the same time. I'll show you why. Take all these finlets, get them off, and this, once we clean it up, we will stuff the center and the outside will be perfect. We'll see you in the kitchen. I put these in ice and just slowed them all down. Let me show you how, what I do. I'm gonna do something really, really fun. Pop the top off. Make sure, these are called dead man fingers. Make sure you have them all off. Make sure all of this is gooded. That is a perfectly cleaned crab. Now we have all four, and we're gonna just steam them up, and they're gonna go right on here. So in our steam, make sure you add white distilled vinegar. That's gonna make those crabs peel easy. Over here, we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil, and then we will put our Filet just like that. We're just gonna make this happy. And now, these are done, boy. We're gonna bring these over to the sink here. Watch how beautiful these are gonna be. Pow, so good. The best things, you just crack these open and split them in half. And right in the middle here, You 
just crack your shell and peel it till it comes out. Just like that. This right here is the single best thing that will ever go in your mouth. The black fin of a crab. In the whole world of stuffed flounder, they take the lump crab meat, they add all kinds of stuff and they call it a filling. I believe in filling is crab meat. So we're just gonna stack that thing full of crab meat. Just like that. Take the flounder, put it on top. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be good. Put a little bit of olive oil right across. Mm, quality control, it's good. It's going in the oven for 10 minutes at 425. Hey, stuffed flounder, it doesn't get any better than this. Now I'm gonna go clean the truck. Hey, and after just 10 minutes, we're ready to make our wife happy. Look at this. Look at this. So good. Oh my gosh. Then we take fresh Bernays. and let it just trickle down. You have two ingredients, crab and flounder. It's good. Hi guys, flounder. <laughs> this is the man, like on this whole island, they should call it Bob Tuckett. Not Nantucket, Bob Tuckett. Everyone here knows you. Unfortunately. No, good. that's good. In the whole world, this is the only place I've ever been where whenever I tell people, hey, I'm staying with Bob and Debbie, De Casa, they're like, how do you know them? Like, you are the most known person on this island. If y'all come to this island and want to go fishing, stripers, flatfish, tuna, sea bass, there's none better than the albacore. Don't forget, you forgot black, let's see, black sea bass, group, stripers, bluefish. Bluefish. The tog, codfish. If you want to bend your rod, <laughs> call him. Hey, you've been eating flatfish. Like, he just came in from a charter. This all just, I went upstairs and when I came downstairs, he was out. We're here, we're, we're so thankful for you to have us in your home. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this food. Thank you for the wonderful opportunity to come to Nantucket and have a good time. Thank you for today and thank you for our lives. In Jesus name I pray, amen. Amen, amen. amen. Try it. Dig in. I wanna hear what you think because you eat this like all the time. Nope. Not trying to. Not like that. We don't eat it all the time. <laughs> That's great. Right. That's pretty darn good. Is there crab somewhere in there? There's the whole middle layer is oh, crab. The, oh. oh, it's crab. <laughs> that is heavenly. I want to know: is it a flounder? Is it, or is it a fluke? But I appreciate There's you guys watching judge. all the way to the end. We yeah. had so much fun. If you're new here, judge. subscribe. Yes. If you wonder why I'm talking like this, it's because. On March 13th, May. May 13th, I had a massive stroke. Thank God I'm alive, and thank you so much for praying for me. Thank you for being in, the, in my corner. She never left the hospital, and for that, I say thank you. We are out of here. Take care. God bless, and we are gone.